KP classes dedicated to excellence. Hello everyone. This video is about an update regarding government jobs for architecture graduates. And I hope you are aware that Delhi Subordinate Services Selection Board has released a notification for requirement of six posts of architectural assistant. Now, uh, this, these six posts uh, uh, are going to be uh, in New Delhi Municipal Corporation and the post is architectural assistant. And this video is about the details about the examination for your requirement into NEMC, that is New Delhi Municipal Corporation through DSSSB selection. Uh, so we will look into all the details with respect to the eligibility criteria and the exam pattern in this video so let me first briefly take you through the structure which we are going to follow in this short video uh, we will be starting with a discussion first with respect to the eligibility criteria uh, we will be then looking into the important dates for this examination what is the application window uh, then we will discuss about the exam details the pattern of the examination the duration of the examination the number of marks and any details with respect to the pattern of it uh, we will then finally discuss about the preparation how can you prepare for this examination or how can you uh, stay ahead of others to get selected into these architectural assistant posts which is a good number six number of posts uh, so uh, this is for architecture graduates let, let us first look into the details with respect to this post like with the number of openings the eligibility criteria most importantly let us discuss about that first so to start firstly there are a total of six openings for uh, architectural assistant post at NDMC. The selection is being done by Delhi Subordinate Services Selection Board. Uh, of these six posts, the breakup is also given in the official notification. There will be three posts for unreserved category, two for OBC. One is reserved for SC category. There are no seats reserved for ST, WS or people with benchmark disabilities. There is no reservation in those categories. So that's the total number, six uh, number of posts. And uh, this will be a level six job. Uh, as far as the eligibility criteria is required, as I told you, the posting would be New Delhi Municipal Corporation. So uh, there is no uh, confusion or doubt as to where will be the posting of this job. This is a government job and the posting will be, and this is a, permanent position and the po and, and the requirement uh, once done the posting will be within the vicinity of new delhi municipal corporation uh, the qualification requirements the essential qual there is no desirable qualification as such the only requirement the only essential qualification is degree in architecture uh, so basically b arc is the basic requirement for this post every anyone who has completed bachelors in architecture and has a, a degree certificate of BARC, you can enroll into this particular uh, opening or you can participate in this requirement process. Uh, there is no experience also required. So even if you're a recent graduate, you can still apply for this post. As far as the pay scale of this particular job is considered, as I told you, it will be a level six job and uh, the grade pay of it is 4200. So you can check there are grade pay in various government jobs. So you can check about the uh, salary details of these uh, various grade pay uh, uh, or levels. You can check that uh, on the internet. You can find easily the details with respect to it. So, so it is going to be a level six job with grade pay 4200. That's what you can remember with respect to the pay, uh, pay scale. Uh, the age requirement for you to participate in this requirement process, it is 18 to 32 years. Uh, so the maximum age limit is 32. There is age relaxation also available for SC candidates. I think there's a, a, a relaxation of up to three years. However, of unreserved category for open category, the age limit is 32 years for this particular post. So anyone with BARC, even without experience, even if you're a research grad graduate, if you meet the eligibility criteria of less than 32 years, you can apply for this permanent position in New Delhi Municipal Corporation. So that's about the eligibility criteria and about the details of this post, the number of openings and the reservation breakup for this particular post. Let us now look into the important dates. By the time you're watching this video, the application window is already live and it is still open. You can, if you have not yet applied for this position, you have not yet applied for this job, you can still apply for the job. Uh, the opening date for the submission form, uh, submission of the online application, it is from 21st of November. So the portal is already live. You can just go through the official website of Delhi Subordinate Services Selection Board on that website. So it's not application through NDMC portal. Uh, the, the requirement is being, the requirement process is being conducted through DSSSB. 
so you'll need to go to the portal of dsssb and uh, from 21 to 20th of december that's the closing date so don't wait till the last moment 20 of 20th of december so by the time you're watching this video you still have a couple of days at least uh, i think more than a week of time you will be having 10 days close to 10 to 15 days so make sure you don't wait for the last date once you get to know the details and if you meet the eligibility criteria you have to apply into it irrespective of uh, so if you are interested into government jobs even not if immediately you should enroll into it to have an understanding of the process of requirement and understanding the requirement, requirement tests in general so if you meet the eligibility criteria and if you target for government jobs we center, we recommend you to apply for this job between before 20th of december uh, the uh, the fees for the application i think is very nominal i think it is 100 rupees for the application you can check the details on the portal of dsssb um, and there will not so there is relaxation in the application fee also for women candidates i think so you can check all those details with respect to the uh, fee for the application but make sure you apply before 20th of december so that's about the important dates so we looked into the exam details and also the uh, so we, we have looked into the eligibility criteria and the important dates now let us look into the exam details how is this requirement going to be so as per the official notification the requirement for these six posts of architectural assistant it is uh, it will be through a single stage that is a test or not a requirement test will be conducted so let us talk about the pattern for this requirement test so the exam which is the date of the exam is not yet announced so as of now there's only this application window apply and we'll need to wait for an official notification on the exam date which will which could be very soon too so the exam uh, date once out we will put out the information in all our social media handles so make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and stay connected with us on all our social media handles including instagram and facebook you can find the links of all those in the description of this video you can also contact us on the whatsapp number given in the description of this video which is 95602526 uh, any queries with respect to courses with respect to any government jobs in architecture and planning you can always reach out to us and we'll try to help out uh, on your queries uh, so as far as the exam details are considered this examination will be a two hour examination just 120 minutes and unlike most of the government examinations in these 120 minutes you'll need to solve or answer a huge number of 200 questions actually so this examination is purely based on the speed so there are various types of examiners there are examinations which are numerically uh, important or there are exams where numerical approach has to be very clear there are examinations where you need to memorize a lot of things there are examinations where time factor is going to be very important and this is one of those examinations where time plays the crucial role and when time plays a crucial role in the requirement test the only solution for that is practice so we'll talk about that in the next uh, point for now if i tell you about the exam pattern 120 minutes you'll need to answer a 200 uh, total 200 questions and each question will be for one mark uh, so 200 marks is the total weightage of the examination uh, so uh, and there will be negative marking too for your information or each and every incorrect answer will give you a negative one fourth mark so there is negative marking also as per the official notification uh, so uh, the exam will have a grand total of 200 marks basically now the breakup of these 200 marks 200 marks is further divided into two sections you have section a 400 marks and section b 400 marks the, it's going to be a single paper with two sections two, 200 questions 100, 100 questions in section a 100 questions in the section b as far as the details of section a is considered now all the questions as you can see are of mcq type multiple choice question, all the questions in section a and section b everything will be multiple select multiple choice question so basically you will be having four options a b c and d one option will be correct you need to select that correct option if you select an incorrect option you will lose one fourth of the mark that is 0 0.25 negative marking if you do not select an answer for some question you will not lose any mark you will just have zero on that question uh, so you should make sure that you don't do any guesswork why do you have negative marking to avoid guesswork in the examination so uh, as far as the details of section a are considered these 100 questions are further divided into five topics there are five subjects or so five topics in section a there will be 20 questions on each and every topic so those five topics include general awareness which basically is current affairs and general knowledge particularly uh, questions can be based on polity economy geography history so it can be general awareness and general knowledge in current affairs um, then you have uh, 20 questions from general intelligence and reasoning ability 
जनरल इंटेलिजेंस एंड रीजनिंग एबिलिटी कुड बी सीक्वेंस नंबर सीक्वेंस अल्फाबेट सीक्वेंस यू कैन गेट क्वेश्चन लाइक फाइंडिंग आउट द ऑड वन यू कैन आल्सो गेट क्वेश्चंस लाइक रीजनिंग बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस लाइक यू कैन आल्सो हैव पिक्चर बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस व्हिच इज व्हिच आल्सो कम्स अंडर लॉजिकल रीजनिंग लाइक अंडरस्टैंडिंग पिक्चर सीक्वेंसेस पैटर्न सीक्वेंसेस सो यू हैव ऑल दीस टॉपिक्स इन द सेकंड पार्ट 20 क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम दैट and you'll have 20 questions from hindi language and comprehension which will be based on understanding the uh, language of hindi then you have 20 questions from english language there are 20 questions on arithmetical and numerical ability to just, to just arithmetic and numerical ability include uh, quant based topics like profit and loss speed and distance time and work so these concepts you'll have 20 questions from that so to give an overview of section a 100 questions 20 from each topic 20 questions on general awareness 20 questions on uh, so uh, reasoning 20 questions on quant that is numerical ability 20 questions on english language 20 questions on hindi language so these are the five topics 20 questions each from section a uh, so even if you feel you're not strong in one of them like for example let us say you're not very strong in english or let us say you're not very strong in hindi language you can still have you can still apply for the test don't uh, let one subject pull you back from applying because it just has 20 marks of weightage that there, there are going to be a 200 number of questions 20 questions is just 10% of it so you will st you can still do better in the other part so you, if you are uh, meeting the eligibility criteria you should apply for the post as for the section b is considered now that's going to be the, the core topic of architecture now you can see both are having equal importance don't uh, don't consider general aptitude and reasoning and english to be a minor part it is going to have 50% of the weightage the remaining 50% that is 100 marks will be from uh, objective type questions based on the subject and uh, post qualification required that is basically architecture topics of architecture including so a detailed syllabus has not been given however the pattern is expected from the syllabus of architecture which generally in other requirement tests like even architectural architectural assistant in dda delhi development authority they also have a similar pattern so they also have uh, architecture based topics which include history of architecture building materials serving and leveling a uh, basic understanding of uh, uh, building materials and construction like i mentioned environment based topics uh, any aspect of architecture including uh, history indian history western history of architecture and also modern architecture architects and their works all these are expected to be a part of the question paper for 100 questions so that's about the syllabus details and the exam pattern like i said told you in the beginning itself this exam is where time will play a major role because there will be 200 questions you have less than a minute for each and every question you'll need to read the question answer it within a minute less than a minute actually so 200 questions in 120 minutes with negative marking so it's going to be a tough examination so for such exams where there is negative marking with time is a factor the most important aspect of preparation should be practice and that's where we come into role as far as your preparation is considered uh, we also are providing particularly for this examination designed particularly for this ndmc post of architectural assistant we have a, a, a course which we are offering to uh, start preparing once you apply to start preparing for this post uh, you can get in touch with us the, as i told you the contact number and the details are available in the description of this video you can reach out to us and we will help you in the preparation so the resources which we are offering for this particular architectural assistant post includes a set of recorded lectures you have uh, recorded lectures for both section a and section b uh, so majority of the syllabus exception for probably hindi part you will have lectures recorded lectures for almost all the topics which you need to prepare for the examination so you can attend those lectures one by one topic by topic and complete your entire preparation and stay confident on uh, those uh, areas for all the 200 marks of the examination so you can you can uh, you'll get the recorded lectures within this preparatory course you will get recorded lectures on all the topics you will be having test series with mock tests and also sectional tests so each and every topic once you complete the lecture of that subject you can attempt the sectional test of that so you will have a lot of practice questions like i told you our focus is mainly on practice for this examination exactly in the pattern including the negative marking part and the duration it is a replica of the actual exam pattern so you can attend the full length mocks and also sectional tests on the portal of the test series and you will also get a set of books which includes the study material for all the topics which are a part of the syllabus uh, including the general aptitude part you will get a set of books for your preparation 
so uh, that's about it you can also have a look at these uh, so probably if i just zoom into it so you'll have preparatory notes compiled into the study material you will, have, you will have the six set of books which covers the subject of section a and also section b so you can enroll into the course if you are applying for this architectural assistant at ndmc make sure you get in touch with us and you can use our resources which are all of top notch quality including the lecture series uh, and also the study material and test series by making utilization of these uh, resources you will you need not waste your time in looking for good quality resources you can just make utilization of these resources and stay focused on your preparation till the date of the examination i hope this video was informative for you and you uh, if you are preparing we are here to help you out reach out to us on the whatsapp number given in the description of this video thank you everyone